right? So I said, if South Korea could build the subway, we should build the subway. But beside that, each time I drive Highway 401 from uh, uh, Highway 2 to Don Valley, it, it takes uh, 30, 40 minutes. And uh, as the Board of Trader said, uh, the, because of traffic congestion, each year, GTA, we lose $6 billion is wasted, right? So we have to improve this traffic thing. So when I said, all these uh, the cars, you know, doesn't move in the rush hour highway 401. So when uh, candidate Bob Paul said we're going to bring subway, I support that. My picture of a subway is from Don Mills to Meadowvale at least, right? And Meadowvale to maybe uh, even maybe LRT or other things. So I support that. So that hopefully uh, we could uh, uh, release all this uh, traffic congestion and the save lots of money. But after election, what the mayor said, my survey, his survey is coming from Donville to Shepherd to Kennedy and from Kennedy to to uh, yes, Scarborough Town Center. So this area is totally excluded. It's not the survey I, I picture them. Another thing, when uh, Rob Ford says, I'm going to bring survey because he's a conservative, uh, everybody knows he's far right, and the uh, federal government and uh, also uh, government are uh, uh, conservative. So I thought uh, maybe provincial, they already gave 8.4 billion, so the survey, I'm expecting them from the federal, because that's what happened usually. At the present time, the, all the money that the uh, federal government promised is uh, $330 million. So, as the, the Anna said, the, the capital budget, uh, we, uh, we need to build survey, even for coming to discover nonsense, $3.2 billion. So, it's out of question. Another thing, Seoul, Korea, the population is roughly 12 million. And then during the work days, weekdays, the population grows up to 50 million people, about five times, and we don't have that. And I really feel so thankful to Professor Swinton. You know, you try to drive Shepherd and Young, rush hour, we have somebody right there, totally congested. Every day. You know, you give to me your point of view. Can I make a point of response to your question about the not from you. balance, the subway? Not from you. 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 There was a very similar question. I was at a panel uh, just a few doors down on Sunday, and somebody said, this is, this is not fair. We've got three people who are talking about LRTs and supporting LRTs, and nobody's supporting the subway. And I really thought about that afterwards. And what I realized is there are nobody who studies cities and transit who will argue for the subway. No, because no, no, it's a you're not giving the chance. Idea. You're, not, you're not giving the chance. That's what it is. No, but there is isn't. You will wrong. not find a single expert to support that plan. Yeah, you don't give the a chance, there will be nobody. Okay. I mean, the mayor well, might talk about it. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, What's your question or comment? Uh, the question about LRT or subway, I think, is uh, moving in a fact that you're talking about, it's about rapid movement, okay? When you talk about subway, we're talking about moving rapidly. And when you're building a uh, LRT, which is the middle of the road, you're causing congestion. You take, uh, uh, for example, on um, on, on the Spadina and also on St. Clair. It's not elevated, so you're causing yes. congestion. So if you, when you go to these, uh, when you go to a business there and go home there, you gotta, you have to find a U-turn point to get back to, uh, to where you want to go. So the right of way is, is, is the question that everybody should be talking about. Uh, it is the rapid movement, and uh, whether it's a subway, whether it's an LRT, or whether it's SRT. Um, she talked about rapid movement. And academics, when they study, they study a lot. And as time goes by, 
uh, costs go up as well. So uh, the study has been going on for a number of years. The cost of uh, this uh, um, $8 billion tomorrow will be uh, double or triple. So it's a question of doing the right thing, maybe having a mixture of both uh, uh, trans, uh, uh, subway and, uh, and uh, light rail. Because in Toronto, being the largest city in Canada, it's very shameful that they don't have a, a subway going to the zoo. And it's very shameful that we don't have a subway going to the airport. For Canada, the largest city, that, that's uh, uh, quite something to be ashamed of. And when we're talking about uh, movement of people and density, you should be looking at right away and not kind of congestion. <coughs> Great, thank you so much. Yes, sir. And then after, um, first of all, I'll say that I love subways. I'm a fan of subways. I would love to see the city build more subways. But the reality is, there ain't no money. Like, it's, it's, it's a given fact. Like, um, thank you. People, like, people love to say that, um, um, just build subways because it's less congested. Um, um, when there's construction, it's uh, less intrusive. But you don't have to look any further than um, downtown uh, Union Station, where they're trying to build a, a second platform, and already they they tore up like half of the street there. So you can't. And when um, the Shepherd subway was being built, they tore up like the almost the entire street during that stretch. So no one can say that. Building subways is less intrusive than building um, an LRT. The, the, I think that the issue is that people that people don't or Torontonians actually don't know what an LRT is because we never really had had one. Everyone is saying, "Oh, look at um, the uh, quote unquote Saint Clair disaster." I used to work downtown. I used to travel along Saint Clair um, before and after the, the construction, and I'll tell you. St. Clair hasn't hasn't been better. Has never been better since since they put since they um since, since they put in the uh, the right of right way. The only problem is people are still not used to drivers are not are still not used to making a U turn because because of, because um it's still fairly new to them. But aside from that, it's is you're trying to compare apples and oranges. You compare apples to apples. Um, you're, you're building an LRT. Uh, that, let's use um, Eglinton for example. Eglinton already has three lanes. <coughs> it can easily be expanded to four lanes, and if you, if you put the uh, four lanes on each on each side of the road, you put the LRT. You still have your four lane. You still have your three lanes of driving. I think what people what people are, are most our drivers, I should say, are most frustrated about about is oh we can't make our left turns anymore we have to go find a new turn it's, it's not that deep I mean um, yeah I look like I'm a young guy I'm actually 30 I turn I'm 30 I, I drive all over the place I take transit all over the place <laughs> you, got, you, really, you really gotta take things into account like what 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 you have to take into account what do you get most what's the most value what's what's most cost effective and what bring what brings what we need to, to the city more? I mean, like, yeah, we would all love to see subways built. That no one's no one's disputing. We would love to see subways built, but no one's saying, but no one's saying, oh, how do we pay for it? Nobody wants to pay for it. Yeah, right now we have so many people on the street. So I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned the SRT and Saint Clair. Now, after the LRT is taken uh, the traffic accident uh, really reduced. Before LRT, it was uh, around uh, over 60 accidents a year. Now it's around 25 to 26. And after the LRT was built, last election, but a year and a couple months ago, the councilor from that area, he got 80% of the world of votes. People love that, according to what he told me. Okay, so uh, after this, yeah. Okay. Just make it short. I can I have a question or comment.